every letter is silent at some point in some words. Even the stubborn Z is silent in rendezvous. So you see how it is that in English language, you really need to keep learning because as it stands, things change. It is dynamic and the way a word was pronounced say a few years back might just change and if you don't keep yourself up to speed with the pronunciation of words especially by consulting your dictionary you would discover that you are still like you're pronouncing it the wrong way and the only way to check that is to always keep yourself up to speed with the current pronunciation by ensuring that your dictionary is updated yes and also watching my videos <laughs> Because what I do, one of the major things I do here is to update you, to bring you up to speed on how to pronounce your words. But today we're going to be talking about silent Bs. Yes, those words in which the letter B is silent. If you'd recall in one of my videos where I talked about silent letters, you can watch that and see how I broke down how words are pronounced or how letters are silent in some words. You know, sometimes it can be very annoying, especially when you look at words like knife. You're wondering, okay, what is the K doing in that word? Like, can't we just say N-I-F-E and be happy? Like, do we have to complicate situations? Or you think of a word like psychology and you're, okay, so really, could we, isn't it possible to just say S-Y-cology, right? Do you have to put the P? The P is just irrelevant there. But I guess that's what makes the English language interesting. So if you're interested in the words in which the letter B is silent, Please stay tuned. All right, welcome to Fluently Speaking with Bola. My name is Omobolanli Adeshi. Let's talk about the words where the B is silent. Silent Bs. <laughs> yes, let's start with this word. Now, this word is kum. I hear a lot of people still say kum. Like, honestly. Why do we like stressing ourselves in this part of the world? Kum, kum, like it's sweeter and simpler and easier to pronounce. So say kum and not kump, kumin, not kumbin. <laughs> hey, father. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, so yes, let's look at the next word. This, the letter B is usually silent when it ends a word after the letter M. Now, there are also exceptions to this rule. So you would see some other rules where the B is not at the end of a word, yet it is silent. So just be patient, follow me. Let's take it poco a poco, all right? <laughs> okay, so yes, it's silent in comb. And then the next word, you have it in tum. Tum. So this word is not tomb. Ah, it rose again from the tomb. No, tum. <laughs> So to me, you see the B is silent again. Again, you have it in thumb. The B is silent. Thumb. And then it's also in plumber, right? So you see, it's not ending the word here. It's not ending the P-L-U-M-B-E-R, but it is silent. So don't say, ah, please call the plumber. Let him come and fix this pipe. Mm -mm. Plumber. How does it even sound? Sweet, right? Plumber, not plumber. <laughs> <laughs> even takes more energy more force to say plumber than to say plumber right okay so plumber next this word limb i'm sure by now you're already getting the drill limb not limb limb right and then lamb mm, lamb not lamb oh lamb of god mm -mm. lamb of god <laughs> I don't know, sometimes I can be extra playful. Okay, so yes, and then you have it in this womb. Womb, right? No womb. I carried you in my womb for nine months. Womb, right? Womb. Womb. Okay. It's also silent in bomb, right? So not bomb. Bomb. Bomber. Not bomba. A suicide bomber killed six people in Boronu yesterday. A very sad situation happened in Nigeria. Say bomber, not bomba. Bomb, not bomb. Succumb, not succumb. Succumb. He finally succumbed to death 
after the protracted illness. So succumb, not succumb. <laughs> it's also silent in plum. Of course, when you add the ER, you have plumber, not plumber. Then you have it in climb, climber, climbing, not climbing, climber. Ah. <laughs> So now let's look at some other words where it's not, it has nothing to do with the letter M, whether at the beginning, middle or end, yet it is silent. After the letter T, it is silent in this word, subtle. So say subtle and not subtle. Hey, subtle. <laughs> my brother, my sister, it is subtle. So be subtle when pronouncing the word subtle without the b right so the b is just there as a figurehead it really plays no role and affects the pronunciation in no way and then this word death right death nigeria's death profile keeps rising on a daily basis so not debt debtor not debt ah. Dep no now don't say debt Data. How does that sound? So data, debt, subtle, and also in doubt, not doubt. In fact, that would I doubt you would find it comfortable to even say doubt, right? So doubt, doubt. So these are the silent B letters. I hope that it would improve your spoken English. We'll look into other letters in my next video. I want to make this a series so that we'll talk about all of the letters that are silent in some words. All right, guys, that's it for today. Short and precise, right? So I expect you to watch this over and over again so you can get used to the pronunciations. Please remember to leave me a comment, like this video, share, and also subscribe if you haven't watched my other videos right here and right here. I'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah.